I work in a crisis refuge for homeless teenagers who have uh, quite severe drug and alcohol addictions and so a lot of breakdown in family relationships, unable to return home and so through our service they have accommodation for up to three months and while they're there they have access to um, our Dunley program which is a day drug and alcohol program, they have access to counsellors, psychologists and we also assist them with making more medium to long term accommodation referrals, so more stable and secure accommodation as well as try and repair relationships and restore those relationships between family members that may have broken down. Um, in particular for Don Bosco House, it's quite uh, heavily relied upon. We come out here every week. It probably um, consists of 80% of our cupboard, so all of the food in there, we really rely on it. And just in terms of the variety as well, that we might not be able to um, have the money to buy. So even little things like treats and things for the kids and creating that balance all the time, there's fresh bread and fruit. I'm not sure if they would recognise just how valued it is. I mean, it might not seem like a big thing, but for us in particular, if uh, we didn't have it, I think we would struggle a lot. Um, and I would hope that they could keep doing it and just realise just the breadth of how many people they support because out of Don Bosco we also have an outreach kind of street walk program so they're also feeding young people who are generally on the streets as well or have moved on from our service just keeping that support going so yeah big thank you and I think there's a lot of young people out there who are definitely benefiting from their generosity.